Wanuri Kahiu's Afrofuturistic Pumzi takes place in East Africa, 35 years after World War III, known as the Water War. Here, the outside world is dry, barren, and presumably incompatible with life. The film depicts Maitu, an underground dystopian society where everyone works to conserve water. The film follows protagonist Asha, a virtual museum curator. In the context of Michael Omi and Howard Winnan's theory of racial formation, Pumzi makes a large statement about the dangers associated with the westernized categorizations of race. Racial formation is a socio-historical process by which racial identities are created, lived out, transformed, and destroyed. The global categorization of race is predominantly controlled by America and the greater Western narrative. Pumsey highlights how this is problematic. The film posits that by categorizing global black communities as unskilled, Western society is able to deem black communities incapable as problem solvers. It allows Western society to market poverty and other problems like unclean water in Africa as problems only the quote-unquote superior white man can solve. Pumsey challenges this and portrays Maitu as a technologically advanced society. Still, this development comes at a price. In Maitu, activities like conversation and dreams are suppressed to focus on survival. Here, the racial formation of black communities subjects them to lives devoid of basic human pleasures, lives in which the only goal is saving the world in the aftermath of a white man-made catastrophe. Racial formation makes it difficult to see the black community's true potential. In the film, Asha eventually breaks out of Maitu and sacrifices her life to plant a tree in the outside world. Pumzi asserts not only are black people intelligent enough to solve the issues that plague their societies, but that they are willing to make sacrifices that white populations in the world would never even consider. Pumsey highlights the danger of Western heteronormative categorizations of race and emphasizes that the future does not in fact lay in the hands of those who control the narrative of race today. The categorizations of black people as incapable uphold poverty and the true potential of black communities goes unrealized.